Hi everyone, in this video I'm gonna show you how to set up the reset button and so we're gonna go after we set up this edit text I'm just gonna go right here and leave a comment set up reset button okay and we have to implement uh, something for it uh, so btn reset and then add on click listener or just uh, we're just gonna do this uh, right here but just so you know there is also some other way to do it we can go in activity main.xml and we can add here uh, on click uh, this on click attribute and then we specify our function so that's another way and then we just have to implement this function in Android Studio uh, there is this uh, method or we can just go right here in main activity and set up our own way I'm just gonna show you how to do this we just have to uh, type set and then on click listener and then new on click listener and as you can see we have this suggestion appearing on the screen and we just have this uh, public void on click so right here we're just gonna implement our functionality for the reset button and there are a couple of things that we need to reset so when we just press reset we have to reset um, this the value that appears on the yearly income and also we have to display the hint again and then we have to uh, make sure that our progress bar is at zero and also the weekly savings display uh, zero and also this one displays total again so there are three things that we need to do so we're going to start first of all with uh, that edit text so we're going to say edt yearly income and we're just going to go and set it up to uh, so set text and we can just use this null string but it would be preferred to just say null so that's the null string basically it's a bit more explicit but both of them work as well so we're going to say edt yearly income and now we just want to uh, make sure that we display the hint so as you can see as i just type hint we have this dispatch display hint and then we're gonna go and I'm just typing here control space to see the suggestions and as you can see we have this visible suggestion so that's what I want to use right now just to make sure that it is visible and after I set up this uh, thing I just want to make sure that I leave a comment over here and we're just gonna go and say reset edit text okay and we have it reset right now we have to reset also the seek bar and its related text view okay and so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna get a seek bar and set up the progress so we're just gonna say set the progress we're gonna set it up to zero right now because that's the initial one now we can create a constant for it but I think zero is uh, explicit enough it's uh, basically self-explanatory it's just from the beginning of the um, the progress bar and the next thing we want to do is just to set this sig bar for um, the maximum so the maximum we're gonna be setting on its default as well which is 100 so I think these two lines are pretty much self-explanatory and also the text that's displayed on uh, the sig bar we don't really have to uh, set it up because uh, if you think about it when you set the progress then we have this um, on sigbar change listener that just actions just fires whenever this uh, changes so when this will be changing then also the text will be uh, changing as well so we don't have to set that thing up and we're just gonna go right here and just reset this uh, total savings total yearly savings basically and in order to do this we're just gonna say txt total savings and then set text we're gonna just set it to total okay so that's how we just had it from the beginning it just was displaying total as you can see right here and that's how we wanted to have it after we click on the reset button so I'm gonna go right here and run our application to see if everything works as we expected and so we just have to wait until Gradle builds the files 
and a message will appear just over here and will say that invocation is finished. We have a couple of warnings, we're just going to ignore them. And so we have, let's say, we want to have 75 thousands of dollars for the yearly income. And then we just go for the weekly savings and put it to the maximum allowed. And as you can see right here, we, are, we have uh, this uh, $37,000 displayed on the bottom. So we're going to press reset. And as you can see, everything changed to zero. The slider went to zero. And also this has a maximum of 100 again. And everything is set up accordingly. Okay, so this being said, we have our application mostly done. Just want to show you that there are just a couple of things that we have to make sure we uh, solve before we finish our application. We just have to make sure that it doesn't crash or it doesn't have any problems. We're going to input a big number right here and see what's going to be displayed. So as you can see, I'm just typing as many nines as I can. And then the weekly savings, I'm just going to put a huge number. And so it just gives me minus $52. So that's basically that's wrong and in order to just make sure that this one is correct I'm just gonna go and fix this error in uh, the next video. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.